people living in tents and emergency shelters at what has become known as the People's Park in Halifax are expressing gratitude to their neighborhood for the generosity. I'm fairly new to the area and in general and just like walking by um, incredibly friendly, um, you know, very friendly with my dog and yeah, no problems at all much more willing to reach out to me than some other neighbours in many cases. Members of the community will be looking after their own affairs now that PADS Community Network is no longer providing services. I've been pretty much privileged that everybody in this whole community has been really awesome about having us here. The support, the donations, everything is overwhelming, you know, like we're all happy here. I like how the community is just helping out everybody taking her time out, you know what I mean, giving us so much clothes, hats, gloves, sleeping blankets, tents. Where I was at down on Holler Street, like, cops came. Like, we never had that. We had to go to the superstore right across and just steal our food. Here you don't even have to go nowhere. It's just food's here every day. You don't, don't have to leave. And I love it. Many of the residents living in the neighborhood have provided food and clothing to the people living in the shelters at a time when they desperately need it. We get a lot of hot stews, um, soups, uh, sandwiches. Uh, people are always bringing us bottled water, which is very nice because obviously we have no running water here. Bringing us basic necessities like toothbrushes and toothpaste and soap and deodorant. And Basically everything you would need in your daily life, people have been more than willing to supply and we are very grateful. In Halifax, I'm Stuart Peddle for Saltwire Network.